So Trevor, why would we what air conditioned school use? Because traditionally we've, we've relied on body weight as our way of comparing use or identifying use that need to be treated differently. But in actual fact we know that within a flock there are lots of reasons why weights will, be, will vary for no other reason than, for other reasons other than the health status of that ewe. So for example, hoggets that have been as, as a, that were reared as a, through a drought will be, have a smaller frame size for the rest of their lives, so they will always have a lower body weight. And within flocks, we, a lot of flocks, we have a range of, of breeds which will have different frame sizes. Certainly once we get towards the end of or the latter part of pregnancy, the stage of pregnancy will have a big effect on body weight, which has nothing which we can't account for, can't correct for we, when we're trying to compare use or identify use which need to have preferential treatment. So condition scoring is really our, our only tool for, for doing that. So in effect, it's, it's independent of all those variables, isn't it? Absolutely, we can do it at any time, at, at any stage of the production cycle, and with any gut fill. And, and wool length as well? Absolutely. Wool length would be one of the key ones because most condition scoring in flocks is done visually and we know that by doing condition scoring visually that the, the, the most of the ewes that need this preferential treatment are not identified. So really, body condition scoring is a, it's a quick and easy low cost management tool, isn't it? It is, it can be done on any ewe at any stage of the reduction cycle and at any time that ewes are yarded. So you're right, it's a very simple way of, of measuring some aspect of the status of a ewe. So Trevor, at the drafting gate, why can't we just do it by eye when they're coming up towards us? Which is what we've done all the time. But in doing that, if the ewes have got more than, more than four to six weeks off shears, the wool cover will really disguise the condition score. So if we're doing visual condition scoring of ewes that have got more than six weeks of wool on them, we will tend to be only pulling off the absolute extremes that need to be rescued, whereas, and we will be leaving a significant number of ewes where there's still a big opportunity from being able to lift them. Of course, if ewes are just shorn, it is much easier to do it visually, but even then, I believe farmers need to calibrate their eyes to what they're looking for to be able to pick out the ewes that genuinely do need to be preferentially treated.